Well, hello again and welcome back to the Red Shadows Blu-ray collection. This should be part five and this will be the final part of my Blu-ray movie collection unless I overlooked something somewhere in my house. This will wrap it up going from T's through to one Y movie and that'll be the end of it. So let's go ahead and get started and finish this up. So we're going to start off with a movie called Taken. And this is the two-disc extended cut, and this is the resurgence of Liam Neeson into the action picture scene. Uh, this came out in 2008, and ever since 2008, Liam Neeson has just done a string of awesome, awesome action-style movies. Now, this is the unrated cut of Taken 2 on Blu-ray. I have not watched this second movie. I think I mentioned it when I picked the first Taken up in a recent pickups video that I, I had bought this when it came out and I was going to watch both movies the same day to get back into it all and I couldn't find my Taken Blu-ray. I don't even know if I had it on Blu-ray or not but uh, now I have them both and uh, I'm looking forward to watching them and catching Taken 3 when it comes out. Up next is Tangled. Uh, this is a Disney CG movie that did not involve Pixar and it was actually a really good movie. I enjoyed it as did my daughter. And as seems to be the theme on my uh, collection video, we go from a family-friendly affair to something not so family-friendly. And this is Taxi Driver. And this Blu-ray transfer of this movie is really freaking awesome. Uh, I had seen this movie years and years and years ago, probably younger than I should have been to see it. And I just remember it left an impression on me. So when this came out, and I don't think I paid more than 10 or $15 for this, uh, it was really, really cool. This has a really gritty, kind of grainy look to it, but even on Blu-ray it looks fantastic. And it's just a really fun and disturbing movie. And up next we have Ted, uh, Seth MacFarlane's uh, big hit movie that uh, was pretty well received, whereas A Million Ways to Die in the West wasn't as much. But this was really, really funny movie, really enjoyable movie, and Ted 2, I think, comes out sometime this year. And up next, we have my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the newer movie that came out last year, uh, a movie that I really, really enjoyed. I sure have been hearing a lot of people saying that they didn't like it, which I guess that's their opinion, and they have every right to it. But gosh, I really did enjoy this. I was super surprised at just how much I liked it. Here's a rarity in my movie collection, a religious movie, The Ten Commandments. This is a uh, remake, I think, uh, of, yeah, it's, it says Grand Retelling of the Epic Story of Moses. This was done in 2008, and a big reason why I watched this was because I, I was married at the time, and my ex-wife, uh, she asked me if I would just watch it because she was going to watch it, so I sat down and watched it, and, uh, and I did enjoy it. But this little guy right here, who's kind of peeking out, that guy right there, that is, let me see if I can find his name, Naveen Andrews. He played Saeed on Lost, and I uh, really enjoyed him in that, and that was, that was the piece that I reached out for to sit down and watch it. And then, like I said, I, I did enjoy the movie. It was, it was a pretty decent uh, retelling of the story. Now here is the director's cut of Terminator Salvation, the most recent Terminator movie to be uh, released, although sometime this year is Genesis. Uh, I have not watched this one yet. I have not actually seen Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines yet either. Uh, so, you know, I got some catching up to do. Here's one of my favorite comedies of all time. There's something about Mary on Blu-ray. This was a struggle to find a copy of this movie first, I was trying to find a DVD that was in widescreen. It was impossible to locate one. And then I found a Blu-ray. And after much intensive study on this before I bought it, I discovered that it was a widescreen copy and I had to snag it because that's like one of the funniest 90s movies that ever came along. And up next we have Thor. And Thor, The Dark World. I've seen the first Thor movie and enjoyed it. I have not seen the sequel yet. I'm hoping to sit down and watch it sometime soon. Probably before uh, the new Avengers movies. Uh, Avengers movie comes out in a couple months. And here is Transformers, the mega movie, two movie mega collection. 
This is Transformers and Revenge of the Fallen on Blu-ray in a box set together. It was relatively cheap, and I already had the movies on DVD, and uh, so I was upgrading because, I mean, if there's any movies from the modern times that need to be seen in high def, it's the Transformers movies. And then I got Dark of the Moon on its own individual Blu-ray here. I do not have Age of Extinction yet, but I do want to pick it up at some point. And we have The Transporter, awesome Jason Statham movie. And Transporter 2, more Jason Statham good goodness. Now here's a movie that I didn't really know where to put on my, uh, on my alphabetical collection list. So I'm putting it in here because this is called Triple Feature Action Volume 1. But as you can see, it has the movies 13, JCVD, and Are You In or Out Brotherhood? Or I guess it's just called Brotherhood, and that's its tagline or whatever. Uh, I mainly got this for the top two movies, 13 and JCVD. I'd long heard really decent stuff about this movie with Jean-Claude Van Damme, uh, a really well-received uh movie that he did that kinda has some reality based elements to it. And then the top movie 13, The Conspiracy, with old Val Kilmer there, who I happen to be a really big fan of. Uh, I, I was interested in this one because I have a PS2 game called 13 that I really enjoy and uh, I wanted to see this movie or whatever it is that I guess is based on the same story. And I think I think all of them were based off of some sort of a comic book or graphic novel, but I could be wrong on that. And that thing was 7 or $8, so I just went for it. Up next we have Troy, Director's Cut. This is a great movie in the vein of things like Gladiator and Alexander, I guess. Uh, I've never seen Alexander, but Gladiator is amazing. I, I need to get a Blu-ray of that someday soon. But this movie is fantastic. It has Brad Pitt, Eric Bana, Orlando Bloom. Who else is in this? Du, 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 du. Sean Bean. Well, it's directed by Wolfgang Peterson. Anyway, it's an epic movie. It just has to be seen to be believed. And it's a Blu-ray that I haven't watched yet, so I need to sit down and do that. Here's The Truman Show. Uh, one of my favorite Jim Carrey movies. Uh, the first Jim Carrey movie that I've, I think I ever saw that, well, it made me feel like the quote on the back. You've never seen anything quite like The Truman Show. You'd never seen anything quite like this for Jim Carrey. Um, I don't think I had the DVD for it, so when I found the Blu-ray, uh, I bought that. Um, I'm a big fan, though, of Jim Carrey movies, especially the old, funny, off-the-wall stuff that he used to do a lot of. Up next here is Tusk, and I covered this in a recent pickups video. It's the newest Kevin Smith movie. It's a weird comedy that involves walrus and wal walruses? Walry? Anyway, uh, I hope to watch it soon and be able to give some more uh, details about it. Now, to wrap up the T movies, I have to get into that territory I mentioned in some earlier videos where I apologize for nothing that involves my movie tastes. So if people have any hate or any shit-talking to say about this, bring it on. I don't care. I have Twilight, Twilight New Moon, Twilight Eclipse, and Twilight Breaking Dawn Parts 1 and Part, part 1 and Part 2, Extended Edition Part 1, Walmart exclusive where it was all together in one set. I have read all the Twilight books, enjoyed them just fine, and I have seen all the movies except for The Breaking Dawn uh, Part 1 and Part 2, uh, but I have enjoyed the movies. And I guess I feel like I just have to say something about that really quick before I move on. The Twilight movies are kind of, you know, controversial in that everybody just thinks they're some crappy, teen, angsty, douchey movies that were made that totally ruined vampire mythology and vampire movies in general. I never really give a sh gave a shit about vampire movies before the Twilight movies. I don't really give a shit about them now. So I don't really care that they have this weird, cutesy, teen take on them. That was what their purpose was, was to, to kind of have that teen, tween feel to it. That 
that phenomenon that's so popular now, which is like teen or young adult books that get turned into movies that all the teen girls will go see. But even guys like me at 40 can sit down and enjoy them too. So like I said, I apologize for nothing. All right, up next. Oh, look, it's vampire movies. It's Underworld Trilogy. Underworld Extended Cut, Evolution, and Rise of the Lycans. Uh, I have seen the first two movies. Uh, they were okay. Um, I just, I guess I kind of felt like, since I had seen them, I needed to get them in my collection. I haven't watched Rise of the Lycans. I haven't watched, is it Awakenings? That was the, the, the newest one that came out. Uh, these are sort of like the Resident Evil movies. They're okay. I can't say that I love them, but I can't say that I hate them. I have them in my collection, and uh, I've kind of reached the end of my days of getting rid of something just because I may not be all that into it. And here's another movie that does kind of also have something to do with vampires in a way, but it's Van Helsing. This is a movie that I just liked because it was a spectacle. It was it was cool. The The CG was, was nice. Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale is in it. I don't know. I just enjoyed it, and when I was able to get a, a Blu-ray copy of it, I snapped that up because it was cheap. All right, here's a movie that I kind of struggled, or a, a movie pack that I struggled uh, with where to exactly put this because it's three movies. It's V for Vendetta, Watchmen, and Constantine, uh, all of which are movies that I absolutely love. Yes, including Constantine. I'm a Keanu Reeves mark, so you know, sue me if you don't if you don't like that. It just says Watchmen Director's Cut, which I loved, and V for Vendetta, which is a classic. And uh, I, I was amazed to be able to find this, not only for, I think, less than 20 bucks for all three movies on Blu-ray, <clears throat> but all of them were, were the extended versions or ex special editions that had all their uh, cool special features included on them. So I grabbed those. Now the next two things I have here are kind of out of the alphabetical listing, but I put them together with that pack because these are Watchmen movies. This is the complete motion comic all 12 episodes on Blu-ray and the Tales of the Black Freighter uh, as, as well as Under the Hood uh, because I like the Watchmen movie and I never really got a chance to read the actual graphic novel uh, when these other things came out I just snapped them all up but I haven't had a chance to do anything with those other than see the the movie itself all right, up next is The Walking Dead, Season 1, and Season 2, which I have watched. And then I also have Season 3, which I have not watched yet. And then Season 4 is out. I haven't even picked it up yet because I haven't watched Season 3. Uh, once I've had a chance to get caught up on Season 3, I'll either buy Season 4 or watch it on Netflix or whatever. So I really love The Walking Dead series. And here's one of my favorite Disney Pixar movies, WALL-E. Great movie. I don't know what else there is to be said. Just check it out. It's a movie with very little actual dialogue, which is kind of mind-blowing. Here's a great action movie called Wanted, starring Angelina Jolie. And the first movie that I ever saw um, James McAvoy in, dude right there, who would go on to be in the, uh, the newer X-Men movies and a lot of other stuff. But this was a really good movie, and everybody involved in it, uh, I thought, did really well. Now here's a movie called Wedding Crashers. And uh, this is a movie that I didn't see for several years after it first came out, but it was a really popular comedy. Finally, I got a chance to check it out. Really enjoyed it. Picked it up on Blu-ray for pretty cheap. Here's a classic, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This was the 25th anniversary Blu-ray with all kinds of awesome special features. Uh, watched it not that long after I bought that and uh, really enjoyed it. Looks pretty good on, uh, on uh, in high def. And here's another movie that uh, looks pretty good in high def. It's Willow, the 25th anniversary Blu-ray. Uh, and this is just one of my favorite old movies from back in the 80s. And I seem to remember when this came out, I was all like, Oh yeah, it's it's uh, George Lucas, and it's directed by Ron Howard, and story is by George Lucas, and Val Kilmer in it. I was like really jazzed about this, and I enjoyed it back then, and uh, was really uh, really pleased to pick it up here down the road. And here's another classic movie, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory on Blu-ray. 
Uh, just super excited to have that in my collection. It's been a long time since I've watched the Willy Wonka movie. And here's a movie called The Wolf of Wall Street. And much like in some of my past videos, uh, collection videos, I talked about Will Ferrell and Johnny Depp. Leonardo DiCaprio is a guy who I'm not really a big fan of. But I don't know, there was so much buzz around this movie, I just wanted to check it out. Now, I have not watched the entire movie. I watched like the first hour. It's like a three-hour movie. But it was pretty interesting. I was enjoying it. Lots of really good performances by a bunch of different people in it. And we have World War Z. I have not watched this movie yet, but I bought into the hype, all the zombie hype the last few years. Brad Pitt in a big uh, kind of epic movie. He hasn't done movies like this, in my opinion, for a while. So uh, I had to pick it up. I just uh, need to get around to watching it. wreck -It Ralph. Here's another awesome Disney Pixar movie uh, steeped in the history of video games, even though it spins some of its own tales about games that don't actually exist. It also parodies and plays off of a lot of games that did exist. And it has a lot of actual real characters in the movie. You can see Sonic and you can see Cubert. And, you know, it had Pac-Man and it had um, uh, the devil from Diablo and just like all kinds of uh, villains and crazy characters in it. And up next we have, really, if I remember right, the only thing from my favorite TV show of all time, The X-Files, the only thing that I have in my collection the, uh, uh, on Blu-ray is this double pack that has the two movies, X-Files Fight the Future and The X-Files I Want to Believe on Blu-ray. I mean, I had to pick this up, but it's like the only real X-Files thing that you can get on Blu-ray. They have not released the series itself uh, on this format. I'm holding out hope that they will, like uh, Star Trek Next Generation did. It may cost a lot of money, it may take a lot of time, but I really want to see it happen one of these days. Alright, now we're going to get into the X-Men movies. There's the first X-Men, and there's X-Men 2, X-Men United, there's X-Men 3, The Last Stand. I like this movie. A lot of people didn't like it because it went to... Uh, Brett Ratner as the director after I think it was Brian Singer had directed the first two. and uh, But I thought it was great. I, I really didn't have a problem with it. And then we had X-Men Origins Wolverine. I have not watched this movie yet. This is an unopened copy that I bought recently. Then they did the Wolverine, a standalone Wolverine movie, which I haven't watched yet because I'm silly. Then we have X-Men First Class, a movie which I have watched. And this was a great, not reboot, but, you know, like a prequel type movie series that started with this one. This one was really good, but I really, really enjoyed uh, Days of Future Past. And uh, I'm hoping to watch this again soon. And we've gotten to the last movie in my collection. The last movie alphabetically in my collection. This is Young Frankenstein. A, I guess it's probably the only Mel Brooks movie that I have in my collection. Well, on Blu-ray, anyway. I do have at least one or two Mel Brooks movies on DVD. But uh, I don't know. This was only like 10 bucks, and I hadn't seen this movie in forever. And I thought, nah, Blu-ray, 40-year-old movie, we'll go for it. Well, guys, that happens to be my entire Blu-ray collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching these and seeing what I have and listening to me ramble about these movies. Uh, I so have missed doing these collection videos. I'll tell you, when I got done doing my collection videos for my games and stuff, I was really bummed out that I didn't have something to immediately jump into. But then, you know, I had all these movies. And I have DVDs back here galore. More, I think, than I have Blu-rays. I have PC games. And then, of course, the next one that I'm really, really excited to do is my uh, strategy guide collection. So I will probably be focusing on that one first. But that will be a little while. I promise that's not going to be tomorrow or the next day. It'll take me a while to really get that sorted out. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my Blu-ray collections. Uh, thank you for joining me on this journey. I had a lot of fun, and I'll see you next time.